Hello, Christian Life Assembly, and welcome to Beyond Our Walls for the month of March. First, before I introduce Mandy and uh, talk about City Surf, I, I want to say thank you for February's global emphasis. It was amazing. I feel like all of us learned something. We, we motivated ourselves to pray and to give. Over $200,000 has so far been raised. So we've been able to send uh, money to all four of our projects. We've been able to raise money for our monthly support. And we've also brought in money for uh, Ukrainian relief and also the Turkey and Syrian earthquake relief. So we're just thrilled with how well we did and I want to thank you. Today though, in this edition, we get to talk about CitySurf. About $50,000 a year is raised for CitySurf and they do lots of things. Um, boxes of love uh, for BC is coming up this spring. But today we're going to talk about something that has happened uh, through COVID, uh, a network relationship with Raphael Family Support Center. So Mandy, tell us what that is and how it came about. Yeah, so Raphael Family Support Center is a center that has been developed for families from the Langley School District. Um, through COVID, they opened, the schools actually opened up a food hub for the families because they knew they wouldn't be getting the, the supports that they had, like lunch programs and breakfast programs. And so they, they really, I think COVID really magnified some of the food insecurity that they were seeing within their families. Um, and so when when school went back into session, the teachers couldn't sustain this any longer, so they came to the local churches. And so it's really a partnership with the local churches of Langley. Um, we moved to the um, Douglas Park Rec Center for a year, and then when their programming started up again, we found a permanent space for Raphael Family Support Center. So weekly, we host a food hub. Um, and we see approximately 100 and family, 150 families come okay. through no. um, each week. Um, but then um, our, our heart behind what we do is not just to give them food, but to come alongside them and just walk with them in life. Mm. So it's been really neat to see um, the volunteer culture that is there. Um, we have we have people from all the different churches, and then now we have our families that volunteer with us. So we're really walking through life's highs and life's lows mm -hmm. with these people, which which I see it as um, that's what we do at church. Yeah. You know, yeah. as a church family, we go through life together, and we're getting to do that with people in our community. I love the the food; it's practical, but I also love the friendship which is so much deeper mm -hmm. and it really has reached refugees. So Ukrainian refugees, uh, Syrian refugees, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we um, recently we have opened up our parameters to just include refugees. Okay. So when they come, people have heard of us and they come within days of arriving in Canada. And so they come to the center and it's just a place where they're welcomed in. Beautiful. You know, they they are loved, they, they leave and they're just in tears. And they just, that's their welcome to Canada. Yeah. I want to thank the City Serve volunteers that work with Mandy. And I want to encourage you to pray for Mandy, for her team, for City Serve, and for Raphael Family Support Center, which is doing an amazing job. I want to also thank you, Mandy, for being CLA's hands extended in such a practical way. We love you. We appreciate you. And in the month of March, we're praying in a special way for you. Thank God you. bless you.